When I first heard the term multidisciplinary artist and I found out what that was, I was like, well, I guess there's a name for it. It's funny when people ask me, like, oh, well, what kind of art do you do? It's like, oh, how do I go through the list? <laughs> I kind of try to divide them between drawing slash painting, installation, performance. For a long time, I was very insecure about this because I felt like I had to choose one path. I don't do it consciously, but then I notice the overlaps between between each practice or between each area that I work in. Making art is like your journal. So you go back, like, oh, that makes sense because that's what I'm experiencing at the moment. Or I started working with this medium. Things I found I have in the studio, things I found on the street, um, things that break or my hands get completely dirty, you know, just like mixing things. It's like touching the earth, the soil, and just like getting messy. So it's, it's all very tactile. I have my materials, I improvise, and each performance I learn on the spot how to use a new material in a new way. And then that's how it becomes familiar for the next performance. So I feel like they naturally feed each other because it's kind of part of my life and what I'm experiencing at the moment. I would say every time I do the performance, I introduce new materials um, and I keep familiar ones, especially the color gels, they always stay. It's like different branches from the same tree. Having the variety and not having a straight line and it just keeps me entertained and playful.